Welcome, my name is Konstantin Magnus and this is a tutorial on how to model a building or something similar, uh, preferably something man-made, based on a photo. So what you basically do is you just grab a picture of a, a house, of some facade, and in some cases when it's very regular and there's nothing sticking out too much you can just put this image in Photoshop and you distort it so that it's totally straight and then you can use this as a texture for your uh, in your 3D modeling app and you just put it on a polygon set it up I think Z- minus is correct and start off with the material right away load it from your hard disk and drag it over and now you have if you disable the reflectance channel it looks even better you have it right on your polygon and the cool thing is I can now go back to Photoshop and just ask for the size 840 by 715 and put it here 840 by 715 and so that's the right proportions and um, if we're being generous this could also be the size of our building if not at least the proportions are right so you can basically um, multiply on that if you feel like it should be 1.5 times bigger or so in for both values of course but I keep it that way and if you want to you can um, just double click on the material again or at least on this um, material tag go to editor and put it on 1000 so that way it's really crisp we can convert this polygon now and just use the knife go to point mode or so and do the basic cuts like wherever you have some edge on your photo you just set a loop cut pressing K and we can also use the line tool to just um, cut off stuff we don't need for example this and this can be deleted and we can move it backwards maybe like so if you want to push this inwards hit D and just use 10 centimeters and get rid of those extra bits And next we can um, just isolate the roof part because I don't really want to cut through it and press U, P and delete. So this is my roof. Next I go back to my polygon which is my facade and set all the major cuts using loop mode. I have restrict to selection disabled and then it should work just make sure uh, you have all the same options disabled just like I do Now I set some more cuts to get the top windows lined up. Now for this area, now for the step, for the stairs 
and this is some uh, special requirement here but um, it will find a way I guess so now we can start here with the windows seems to line up okay and then you extrude it inwards by 20 centimeters use maybe 10 there and delete unwanted polygons wherever they appear. Now how can we cut this out? I would love to use the polygon pen. In point mode. But unfortunately, it's leaving a mess or it's distorting my UVs. The UVs are the texture representation of my geometry. You just um, go to body paint UV edit. Uh, make sure you have your facade selected and activate the material here and say show UV mesh. So then you should, you should be able to see a really fine grid on top of your photo and that's the geometry um, unfolded on your photo. And because those newly created polygons on the sides don't have uh, any space on your UV map, they appear distorted, but we will, co we will correct this later. And now the problem is, if we just cut in there, maybe we could use um, four cuts using MF, and MF having create angons disabled is the edge cut. And the little problem, as soon as we move those points, the texture will move with it. So I just ignore that fact and go on. And then I go over here, press E, go to checkerboard points, which is my UV map. and move the points where I need them. This is the dirty way of doing it. I just go back and try something different. Namely, um, I could just cut first, then project my texture frontally on that um, piece of geometry and then start extruding. So let's see how this turns out. I just cut now. The way I did, but this time I'm not using with one click, I'm not using UV mapping, but just frontal mapping. not frontal, I want to use flat mapping and go to tags, fit to object and now that way I have freedom to move my points and this is no different than in this case than what we did before Let's have a look at the UV map. Well, it doesn't um, 
really um, make sense here so we can rather set some more cuts to get the entry area approximated and now we should first extrude all of it a bit and then start differentiating like you set it to 40 centimeters at first 40 and then you get rid of stuff we probably need some more subdivision for the stairs so we could for example use the knife command plane and set it to xz and say each five centimeters i need eight cuts in total each 10 centimeters would look like this and maybe i just need six, six cuts every 12 centimeters Just find it out for yourself. Uh, what's the right measurement? And then we can extrude by 20. Probably not the way this is shaped in reality, but for the sake of a quick tip, this should do. And now we extrude this inwards. So we have that three dimensional effect. Not up here, so let's add this minus 80 minus 60 would do and um, now we have two more things to do um, the first is you have to take care of these areas those newly created polygons within the windows for example those guys, those guys, those guys uh, are not textured properly. Same issue down here. And um, I'm not sure whether it's a good idea in this case to use all those selection at once, but the trick basically is to apply the same material again to the same selection this time using for example cubic mapping depending on the shape and you have to make sure that it's scaled correctly so if the coordinates of the first applied material uh, your texture coordinates are 420 then you can just take this over or use this trick again like for all those measurements or you could just say tags and then fit to object for example but you still have to look because I don't think um, it's stretched correctly so maybe you need 420 here as well it looks uh, more proportional and then you just just go to checkerboard here and um, move the texture until you get uh, believable parts of your texture in there. Yeah. Um, same for 
the front part which is a bit showing the limits of that technique so um, you could also just select all those areas using UL and hold down shift and just grab everything that has a stretched texture applied to it and just reapply this and this time you go to cubic again fit to object and look at problem areas and solve them by going to the coordinates so nothing is stretched too much and just move it so it looks believable we also take some liberties here in stretching stuff and so on so this looks horrible in some parts but if you take uh, some time for it then this could be phase number two and if you want to um, get an even better results you can now use Photoshop again and um, optimize your texture. What I mean by this is you can for example make the windows reflective just by creating a new layer in Photoshop based on the old one. Right click duplicate and make this a specular and you just recolorize the areas that are supposed to reflect. You can duplicate it once more and create a bump map and I already did a tutorial on texturing. You should be able to um, know how to do this if you watch my texturing tutorial. Um, it's basically just like those areas are supposed to reflect, then you just give them a brighter color or the opposite. If they are bumps, then they shouldn't stick out, so you turn them black and the rest can be converted to a bump map with those tips and the good thing is you just have to save that file and then you can use it automatically here as a bump you can also of course optimize other areas where stuff needs to be removed but that way you should have a three-dimensional building without much hassle